Hi there, and welcome to another screencast from the Coding Pad. This is Mary. And in today's screencast, we're going to um, start the process of uh, taking an XHTML CSS template and transforming it into a ModX template. So I have um, a pre-designed and encoded template, and I want to bring that into a ModX website and change the look of my particular website. Now, a few things. Um, the first is that I'm working live, so this is probably going to happen over a series of three screencasts, four at most. I'm hoping to keep it at three, but we'll see how it goes. Um, the second thing is, like I said, I'm walking live, and so there might be a few. I don't really have a lot of room for errors. There might be some fumbling, and, and, and I just kind of want to apologize in advance for that. Um, and hopefully we're going to um, learn a bit through this screencast. Now, the other thing that I want to say here is that um, I'm not going to do a written version of this screencast simply because I've the process that I'm going to be walking through is actually I've already written it out, um, except that it was on a different website. Now, if you go to um, codingpad.marispad.com, um, which is my blog, and you go to beginner tutorials, I've done a series of um, tutorials on building a website with ModX from beginning. Um, and if you look at part three, part four, and part five, I walk a lot with templates. So part three begins the process of how to, um, how templates in ModX works and, and goes on to explain different components and, and how to transform an HTML CSS template into a ModX um, template. And I talk about chunks and snippets. So everything that I'm going to do in these screencasts is pretty much written out in these three tutorials. Um, but I thought it would be nice to record it and, and using a different template so you kind of see a different, you know, kind of just reinforce the knowledge. And also because, like I said, this is a live project that I'm working on and I figured it would be, you know, good to kind of record it as I, as I do the um, template porting just so that, you know, it adds to my teaching process and your learning process. So I hope that you find it helpful and if, and if you need to clarify things, I hope that the combination of the screencast and the written um, tutorials will kind of meld and, and make things clearer. Now, one disclaimer that I want to give out here is that what you're going to see in these screencasts is my workflow for this project and for this layout. Like many things in, in web design, web development, and, and in generally in life, nothing is really set in stone. And so there's no right way or definite way or best way of doing this. The way that, um, the best way is the way that works for you. And, and this is what, what I'm going to show you is my process that works for me for this particular layout. Now, different layouts, I do different things um, depending on, on you know, different complexities and, and functionalities and stuff like that. So don't take this to be gospel truth. What I hope is that as you watch this, you'll kind of get ideas on how to work with your different layouts and, and, and your different templates and, and your different websites um, when you're transforming, um, when you're templating your ModX website, transforming an H XHTML CSS um, template into a uh, ModX website. Now, if you're not familiar with ModX, um, you can find it's, it's a content management uh, framework, content management system that I really like working with. And um, you can find it at modxcms.com um, right there. And you can download it and work with it. And like I said, in the coding pad, you can go under beginner tutorials and find a series that you can walk through. So it's, it's a nice content management system. I really like working with it, and you'll find that I write a lot about it, okay? Um, now, what am I working with? The website that I'm going to be transforming is this website, Digitized Domain, which you can find at digitizedomainonline.com. Um, if you're familiar with the coding part and you've been kind of following my tutorials and my screencasts, you might recognize this as the website that I used when I was kind of showing you how to um, update your ModX install from 9.63 to Evolution 1.0.0. And like it's a project that I've been working on for some time, and, and when I first built it, I just kind of grabbed a free template from um, a website. I think it was free CSS templates. I don't quite remember. And I just kind of used it as a nice way to learn how to work with ModX templates. And I kind of forgot about it, but now I need to, I'm, I'm sort of resurrecting this, and I, I want to give it a more unique look so that it doesn't, it's not using this free, this free template. Now, I'm going to be working with um, a few things that I've done before coming to this project, before coming to this point, is I've actually updated this further, and it's now running on the current 
uh, version of Modex, which is 1.0.2. So if my backend looks different from your backend, it's because might be because you're using a different version. You might be using 963. I'm using 102. So it's good to keep that in mind. Um, if you're using Revolution, this might not really work for you because Revolution uses a completely different code base. And I think there's some changes in the placeholders. Um, so that's just a good thing to keep in mind. So this is working with Modex Evolution 1.0.2. Um, and you can see this website is just a simple business website. You've got your front page and you have a sidebar there and uh, such um, functionality. And then you have a services page that kind of you know has some text on it. And then if you go on, there's a portfolio page, which is blank at the moment and is probably going to be blank still at the end of what we're doing today. And hopefully the next part of the project will actually be populating this page with some content and we'll cover that. Um, you know, hopefully in a screencast, depending on how um, things go. And then there's a contact us page with a form there for um, people to contact us, and it has a capture. And that's all um, That's all nice and good. But I want to take this, and I want it to make it look like that. Now, this is an HTML CSS template. This is what I'm going to be working with. And you can see it's, you know, it's got some content there and... and you know, just a nice, really nice looking um, design. I really like it and have my links up here, my navigation. As you can see, it doesn't really go anywhere. It's just kind of static um, links, just like most uh, templates that you'll find. There's a nice slider there that kind of flips through some images, slides through them, really nice. Um, we have a sidebar and uh, we're gonna put stuff there. And down here we have a nice footer bar with uh, contact information and uh, my status updates getting updated over there. And, you know, just some good stuff. So we're going to, um, this is what we're going to transform our website to look like. Now, this design was created and coded for me into HTML, CSS by Drew Douglas, one of my good friends. Um, he's a great designer, great developer, just a really nice guy and really professional. And I 100% recommend him for any web design, web development um, needs that you have. Um, he's definitely my go-to guy when I need you know, stuff done that I, you know, don't feel up to doing or don't have time to do or don't have the skills to do. He's a really, um, he's a really great guy and I definitely recommend him. You can find him at Drew Designs, DrewsDesigns.com and I will add a link um, to his website on this uh, post at the end of this screencast. And you can also follow him on Twitter at Drew Douglas. So for any web design, web development um you know, projects that you need done and you need somebody to do them, this is a really great guy to go to and I definitely recommend him. Okay, so <sighs> part one, just done some introduction, kind of showed you where I'm coming from and, and what we're going to be working with. Now in part two, we're going to start the process and um, like I said, I'm going to be working live and we're going to transform that into that and if all goes well, we should end up with a really good looking website. So I will see you at the next screencast.